Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Mad Kaigan. I'm here today. I thought I would do a first impressions video on um, House Flipper 2. Um, it's been a while since I've talked about a game in depth. Uh, with everything else going on at the moment in my life, um, I thought it'd be a bit of a, a bit of a break to uh, talk about something that's actually uh, something I've been uh, that's actually a bit of enjoyment. Um, so obviously, if you don't know what House Flipper is, it's essentially a game uh, a renovation game where you basically get houses and do jobs clearing uh things like that um cleaning up everything from cleaning up to uh putting in new furniture and building houses and for the most part house flipper one was a really really good game um probably one of the most relaxing and enjoying games i've played in quite some time now normally i'm not overly keen on simulators um, but House Flipper is, was one that I thoroughly enjoyed um, and with the advent of the DLC on top of it I, I definitely felt like it is a great game. Now when House Flipper 2 was announced um, you know, I was pretty pretty hyped for it you know um, the trailer definitely showed off some things that I thought oh this could be really good. Um, now, I played a little bit of House Flipper 2 last night and a little bit this morning, and I'll probably play a little bit later on tonight. Um, so, my first impressions of this are, I'd say, mostly positive, but there are some things that I think are a little bit different for me. So, the first thing I noticed was the graphical style. House Flipper 1 went for a, what I would consider to be a semi realistic style to it it wasn't overly um like hyper realistic or anything like that but it wasn't exactly cartoony house flipper 2 the first thing i noticed is it has a very distinctive style and it does feel like you are playing a game in fact the best way to describe it would be quite similar graphical style to like hello neighbor um and i don't mean like crazy and whimsical i just mean you, if you look at hello neighbor you're you're You'll know what I mean. Um, comparing House Flipper 1 to House Flipper 2 graphically, I know that House Flipper 2 is, is a game. Um, it does feel much, it does look quite clean, don't get me wrong. It looks clean, the sounds are good. Um, you know, the, the, the visuals and the, uh, the, the performance of the game is pretty good. Um, there are a few little minor details that I also noticed with the graphical department. Um, that sort of I, I, I wasn't overly keen on actually and that was in House Flipper 1 uh, you could actually set it up so you you could have whatever currency you wanted this is a minor thing um, whereas in House Flipper 2 they've gone for a just a standard coin um, so you get coins instead of you know pounds or dollars or whatever um, thing you set up and I suppose that's okay but to me, it's like House Flipper 2 has gone away from that simulator vibe to it and it just sort of gone for like a game. It just feels like a game that doesn't feel like a simulator. It feels more like a game than a simulator. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but to me, it was just a big thing that I noticed straight away. Um, so obviously, there are a lot of things that are different about House Flipper 2 um, and there's some great quality light of life upgrades in my opinion the, the biggest one that I think is really good is the grid system so you can now have a grid system uh, in place so when you're placing furniture you can have precise movements or grid movement which is really useful because obviously one of the new things in House Flipper 2 is um, you know it's almost got like unpacking if you've ever played unpacking um, it's got that vibe to it so a new feature is being able to unpack items and having to put them and you know it's really useful when you you especially if you like that detail you know stocking the fridges with like food and things like that putting all of the pans and things into drawers and that and you could kind of do that in the first game 
but it, it it sort of always felt a little bit um finicky you know it didn't feel perfected in any way and i feel like in this game they've definitely that grid system really helped um especially with the painting mechanics and the tiling mechanics and the wallpaper and um that's got a grid system now so instead of you know just one by one or whatever because one thing i hated in house for one especially when you were doing the walls is sometimes you would accidentally get the corner of another wall uh or it flip through to the other side of the rooms and go into other rooms so you'd have to be running back and forth um in this one you basically um very much like the tiling on the floors and the ceilings in the first one it has like a little grid so you you start where you want to select it and then say for example this is the wall you put like a dot there and a dot there and then you just paint the wall bit by bit rather than and that's really useful i really like like that um i think that's a really good quality of life improvement um and obviously there's some new tools and mechanics one um, the cleaning mechanic feels much more fun in the first game you know you would just have a mop and you would just go like that and you weren't even touching the walls or anything and just disappear in this one you actually you know like I have like a little rag or something and you clean it and you spray it and and you actually see the the, the rug uh, the mop or whatever cleaning the surfaces um and you know you can get all into the corners and things and little details like that um i really like and it, the same thing with um the removing the trash in the first one you would just literally click on it and it would disappear in this one you you have to take a trash bag and you would you fill it up with all the trash and then you have to close it and throw it in in, a, in the bin outside and you get a bit of extra money for that so all of those little details are really nice um and obviously in this one now i haven't done all of the tools yet so um but there's also an assembly thing which is really cool so i'm a little bit disappointed with this a little bit because one thing that i liked in house flipper one is whenever you would like assemble bathroom fixtures or showers and things like that you would have to build it piece by piece whereas in this one instead of doing that what you have is a separate like mini game basically for assembly so when when you've got a new item um you, you do like a little mini game where you assemble it in, in a separate area um and then obviously you know you you have to like hammer things in drill it and do like little mini game type thing um and then once you've done that um you get like a discount whenever you use that item in the future which i uh, I like, but I also would have preferred if they would have kept that assembly mechanic. Now, maybe they have got that. I haven't got that far into the game yet, so maybe I'm wrong. But from what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like you can assemble items um, bit by bit like you could in the first one. Um, so that, to me, is a bit of a, a, bit of a bummer, really. I mean, um, I... I kind of uh wish they would have kept some things from the first game but it, like i said it definitely feels like they're they've used the base of the first game and just basically built a game from the ground up it doesn't feel like a just a an, a, an improvement it does feel like they've literally took the first mechanics from the first game and made a completely different game and i like that i like that they've done something different but um there are a few things that i'm a little bit i find it a little bit finicky the first one is is actually the um the standard camera control um so like i said the grid system is really useful but i've noticed there's no way to act, actually change the camera sensitivity um you can change the sensitivity for um like the cursor and um the uh um paint roller and things like that but I, I haven't found a way to change your, your, your look sensitivity. Maybe there is, maybe I haven't seen it. So if you know, let me know how you do that. Maybe it's not called look sen camera sensitive, maybe it's called something else. Um, but like I said, yeah, so, but there are some new things in the game. Um, so obviously you've got your standard story mode. So it's called story mode in this one. So your jobs and things are your story mode. And then you have sandbox mode where you can basically 
build things from the ground up. You can build your own houses and, and stuff like that. Now, I haven't delved into sandbox mode yet, but from what I remember seeing in the trailer and seeing in the descriptions is that when you do sandbox mode, you can actually make jobs for other people. So almost like community creations. Um, so maybe once I delve into that, that would be quite useful to have. Um, and if that is the case, that's awesome. I know there's a community creation competition thing going on at the moment with the floor is lava. Um, you make your own floor is lava modes. Um, so it does seem like they took mechanics from House Builder, which was a completely separate game, which I've never played. Because um, House Flipper 1 did have a DLC um, with the farm DLC, which added the ability to build foundations and roofs and things like that but um so it does seem like they've added quite a bit into it with that one and i do appreciate that now my biggest disappointment now this one again it's only come out last week or whatever so again this um will be remedied i think over time because how flipper one had a great level of content it was very much like the sims where they'd always add more furniture and stuff and so you know where i'm going with this one how flipper one had you know the pet dlc the garden dlc and all of that how flipper two doesn't in my opinion doesn't really have a lot of um items um at the moment um it's got a fair amount don't get me wrong it has got a fair amount and like i said but looking going from how flipper one with all of the dlc and stuff like that to how flipper two it's almost like a bit of a downgrade so um to me because there's not as much um content in in that aspect but like i said i think with updates dlcs and things like that that will be remedied further down the line but i'm just saying as a first impression you know how flipper one had you know so much um things you could do and so many different items and stuff how flipper two is kind of a bit like down here it, it's got enough but compared to how flipper one it, it definitely needs more um and that's very common amongst games these days especially uh, when a new game comes out the previous one with all dlc and updates has a lot of content a new one comes out and you feel like there's not as much content um which kind of sucks but oh god that was a bad one um but that is what it is unfortunately but i digress so my overall first impressions of house flipper are mostly positive there are a few finicky things that I'm getting used to. Um, there are a few things that I think could have, should have really been in there from the start. Um, I definitely say that this game is what I would consider to be... It does feel like a complete game, but there still is work to be done. It's not like Halo fucking infinite level... Um, you know, where the game was basically hardly had any content at, at launch, you know, and or something like that, you know, it definitely has a fair amount of content, but there's still improvements to be made. And like I said, I don't think, I, I, I would actually recommend that people who played House Flipper 2 and hadn't played House Flipper 1, go back and play House Flipper 1 because it's really interesting because to see how different they are. Even though it's the standard, um, you know, same base principle game, House Flipper 2 definitely uh, had things in it that House Flipper 1 didn't have, but House Flipper 1 did feel like a completely different game. Now, it is worth mentioning, of course, House Flipper 2 is a PS5 and Xbox Series game, so it's a current gen game, whereas House Flipper 1 was a previous generation game. Um, so it is worth mentioning, you know, um, obviously House Flipper 2 performance wise is, is a much better looking game. Um, but again, I just thought that House Flipper 1 had, had a, a great, um, I don't know, maybe it's because I played it so much and I got used to that. But anyway, um, so like I said, overall, Pretty impressed with House Flipper 2. Um, like all the new improvements and all the new details and 
um, like I said it does feel like a fresh game to me but there are some finicky things that I'm a little bit disappointed on nothing that makes me go I don't want to play this game this game sucks but enough to make me go oh I wish they would have uh, done that or this and that so all in all my first impressions I'd probably give House Flipper 2 maybe a 8.5 out of 10 maybe a 8 out of 10 improvements to be made but ultimately still a fun game and something that I really enjoy so far um, but all in all again I think How Flipper 2 is a game that will get bigger as time goes on as is the case with many games these days but anyway guys I'm gonna I'll leave it there of course if you've played How Flipper 2 let me know in the comments below and leave a like if you enjoyed this new video um, and of course uh, like I said things are sort of making progress on the actual front here today's gonna this week's gonna be a bit of a up and down week so um don't be expecting probably any more videos this week i just thought i'd do this one today um as a way of just sort of something else to do i guess um but of course guys there's always a subscribe if you haven't already and of course um you know like i said leave a comment if you've enjoyed how flipper 2 and what you think um, is the better game um, I think Half Flipper 1 is the better game in terms of how much content it had but Half Flipper 2 is a much better polished game if that makes sense and as always guys I will see you in the next video have a nice day and I'll see you soon